Welcome. Bienvenidos. Hoy es un día muy especial. Today we gather to celebrate the wedding, the marriage of Natalia and Spencer. Two souls destined to be together. A journey through time and space has brought us to this sacred event. We are blessed that all of you, as parents, as friends, support this union and join us for this holy ceremony. Spencer and Natalia, you came here today as committed partners, friends, and lovers. And you will leave with two more titles, that of husband and wife. Your relationship will be the same, yet different. Like the weather, yeah. <laughs> it is ever-changing, yet always there. Sometimes it could be cloudy or even stormy. But as the sun is shining above the clouds, your love is always there above the storms. And I think it says a lot that right now is the most peaceful and quiet time of, that we've had today. And I think that, that that is for a reason. True love is boundless. Like the ocean swelling within one, it spreads itself out, crosses all boundaries and frontiers, even from Seattle to Florida to Colombia. It envelops the whole world. Love is like the sea. It's a moving thing, but still and all it takes its shape from the shore it meets. It's different with every shore. The tide, the waves, and the storm will come and go, but how strong your love is and the strength to float determines the final journey to a good relationship. Woo! <laughs> the waves are never still. The water is never the same, yet it is always perfect as it is. Like the waves lapping the shore, love is an ever-moving being, a place of boundless power and possibility. Twenty-five years ago, fate took hold of your lives. For a year while Natalia was in Colombia and Spencer, you were here in Florida, you dated long distance. Twenty-five years ago, the world was very different. There was no text or Skype or FaceTime. Long distance relationship are extremely difficult even today with these tools. Back then it was even more difficult and you were so young and so fate gave you time. Time to mature, time to live life, establish careers, have families. And then three years ago you were brought back together by the fate that started it all. When you re reconnected all of the memories and all of the feelings came flooding back how you love to spend time together, how Spencer made you feel special, Natalia, how you felt as you ex just as you experienced long ago so many first things together. Once you reconnected, only a few went, days went by until fate, waiting all these years, connected you face to face. That easy, fun to be with girl, that chemistry, that energy, as she was one of the few peaceful people that you ever met, Spencer. That one who you can feel like you can be yourself was the same one that you fell in love with all those years ago. The man who was perfect for you, the great and amazing best friend, the loving and caring good listener, the gentle nurturing presence that put you first, Natalia, brought back all of those feelings as well as if you were the same 19-year-old that fell in love for the first time. This time around has brought you great adventures, travel to different parts of the world, and experiences that only good partners can survive, laugh about, and share. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Natalia and Spencer life is given to us as individuals, and yet we yearn and then we learn to live together. Man and woman were created together. The creation of love is given to us by the people that we love and by those that love us. We learn to love by being loved. Learning to love and living together is both life's greatest challenge and life's greatest reward. This is a special place. 
a place where the universe has come together and people have brought family and friends to nurture and care for them, that they may forever surround us with the beauty that we now see. And into this place where we stand, you have brought something beautiful, your relationship that is becoming your marriage. Here, you are declaring it and pledging it, promising to establish and nurture it. We are, the where, we are aware of the special beauty between the two of you, just as we are aware of the special beauty of this place and how all of its parts come together to make one whole that is greater than the sum of its parts. We are here with you now to celebrate your relationship as it is and as it is yet to be. And in doing so, we ask only that you remember how your life together will have the same seasons as the water and the trees and the sky before us. There will be growth like spring, there will be loss like fall. There will be giving as the waves and rest as the life beneath the waters. You will have to care deeply for that life that is yours together. You will have to nurture it. You will have to appreciate your differences and cultivate them. You will have to take care of yourselves individually, if for no other reason than out of love for the other. And you will need the support of friends and your family and those here today who are so special to us. As you caringly chose this place to declare your marriage, so remember its lessons for your life together through the seasons that are yours to share. And may those seasons bring you and yours joy and happiness. By choosing to spend your lives together, you're pledging to share the responsibility of making this union one of equality, understanding, and strength. And now you're making that promise sacred. And so I ask you, Natalia, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hand and your heart in marriage today to Spencer? Yes. Spencer, I ask you, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hand and your heart in marriage today to Natalia? I ask you then to say your sacred vow. <laughs> I've known you what seems like two life times that I've had. Our first time together, we were both very young and unknowingly preparing ourselves for the second time 20 years later. How sweet it's been to open what we did not know was locked away for 20 years. Reuniting with you has been so very special. Thank you for confiding in me, trusting me, and holding our special moments together just for you and I. I vow to always nurture our friendship, earn and keep your trust, and love you throughout our coming years together. I promise to be the best man that I'm able to be. Oh. Um, <laughs> Spencer, in you I have found my best friend, my confidant, my lover, my inspiration, my better half, and my person. Since we have been together, you have made me feel more complete, more alive, and have shown me the true meaning of happiness. I am a better person by your side. <laughs> because of you, I live, I laugh, and I smile. I dare to dream again. I look forward with a great joy to spending the rest of my life next to you, caring for you, nurturing you, and being there for you and all, all of my life. And I vow the true and faithful for as long as we grow show. <laughs> I was not supposed to cry. <laughs> it's his fault. He cries all the time. You know he's fine. There's ever a time to cry those tears of joy. This is when we want to see them. I have a poem 
by the Sufi poet Rumi. The moon has become a dancer at this festival of love, this dance of light, this sacred blessing. This divine love beckons us to a world beyond only lovers can see. With their eyes of fiery passion, they are the chosen ones who have surrendered. Once they were particles of light, and now they are the radiant sun. They have left behind the world of deceitful games. They are the privileged lovers who create a new world with their eyes of fiery passion. And now it's time to exchange rings. So, you have two. <laughs> you give me one. <laughs> I ask you to hold those rings just like that flat in the palm of your hand as we ponder. These rings, in their unbroken wholeness, are tokens. Tokens of your union. Tokens of your love. Just as these circles are without end, we know that love is eternal. They represent the enduring trust and affection that you promise to bring to each other today and every day from here on in. May they ever remind you that your lives are bound together by joy, by faithfulness, by an inner spiritual bond. God, we ask that you bless these rings and bless those who wear them with good health, long life, patience, fortitude, and that they always have faith in you, God, and in each other. May they always live together in peace, goodwill, and love. Amen. Natalia, this time you will go first. Please put Spencer's ring on his finger. Hold it there. Oh, take your flowers out of the way. If the camera doesn't see it, it doesn't happen. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. My faith in our strength together. My faith in our strength together. And my covenant. And my covenant. To learn and grow with you. Let it be a reminder. That I am always by your side. And that I will always be a faithful partner to you. You may secure the ring on Spencer's finger. It's your left hand. <laughs> you sure? Okay, Spencer, now it's your turn, please. Put Natalia's ring on her finger, hold it there while you repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol. My faith in our strength together. My faith in our strength together. And my covenant. And my covenant. To learn and grow with you. To learn and grow with you. Let it be a reminder. Let it be a reminder. That I am always by your side. That I'm always by your side. And that I will always be, that I will always be a faithful partner to you. Be a faithful partner. You may secure the ring on Natalia's finger. that you keep holding hands as we offer you this final blessing. As sunlight <laughs> floods the sky above these clouds, <laughs> may your love flood your beings. As stars break up the darkness, may you bring new light and life to each other. As the waves lap the shore, may your love be ever moving and full of life. As the wind cools our faces, May you be refreshed by each other's presence. As the tree roots grow deeper, may your lives always be deep and intertwined. And as the palms sway in the wind, may your flexibility bring you strength. As the fish swim unseen, may there always be mystery between you. And as the sun lights up the sky as it sets, May you light each other's hopes and dreams. Spencer and Natalia, in the presence of your parents, your friends, God, and the universe, as witness, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. 
I therefore declare your marriage to be valid and binding and pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.